too many invitations to kill also. Uh, are you referring gonna, to the Bible? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Let me finish. Uh, yes, this is our program. You are a guest, and uh, we have a dialogue. We don't have a monologue. If you'd like to prove a point, then you respect us, and we'll respect you. So, are you referring to the Bible when you say holy book, Kitab al-Muqaddas, or you mean the Bible, right? Yes. I'm okay, go you... ahead and, and state your point, then. Yes, I'm going to give you three examples of killing. Three examples. Okay, all right, one second. Before we go to the Bible, I'm going to let you go to the Bible, but yes. before we go there, let, let me ask you a question. You just said, I don't agree that, that the, the basis of terrorism is in the Quran and Islam. Now, Brother Hamoudi, look what our caller did. He did not defend the Quran. He did not defend the Hadith. He did not explain at all how the Quran is not responsible. All he did was he says, I'm going to show you violent verses in the Bible. Now, now yes. we're going to let you show us the verses that you think are so violent in the Bible. Yes. But uh, before you do, uh, I just want to ask you one question, and I'll let you go to the Bible. What about all of the verses in the Quran, like Surah al Tawbah, Surah 929, yes. Surah 95, Surah 2, verse 190 and following, Surah 860, Surah, 8, uh, Surah 812? Uh, yes. so, uh, so many, so many yes. verses, sort of 2, yes. uh, 216, sort of 2, 225, talking about Takiya. What about all these verses in the Quran? Before you go to the Bible to try to prove that the Bible is violent, do you deny that there are any violent verses in the entire Quran? No, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'm not Muslim, by the way. <laughs> I'm not Muslim. I didn't say that. Okay, but you did tell us that, that you I'm do not what believe what I said, you. which was that in the Quran and in the Hadith and all of that, we find the justification for terrorism. You said you don't believe that. Is that correct? I don't believe in that, yes. Okay, I, why I, I, don't I, you believe in that? We'll go to the Bible, but you show me why don't you believe that when all of these terrorists that we keep seeing on the news are always Islamic. Why is that the case? Okay, can I, can I get on with my point? No, or? not until you answer, you, you, you're making a statement, and yeah. then you're going to go to the Bible, and you're yeah. going to show us verses that I'm going to yeah. prove to you do not make Christianity violent, but I'm going to let you show them. But before you switch gears yeah. and mm -hmm. try to not talk about Islam, like all Muslims, whether you're Muslim or not, I don't care. God cares on the last day. Yeah. But you need to answer because all the time we see terrorists trying to blow up planes, yeah. trying to blow up subways in the name of Islam. 99.9% .9 of them are Muslim. Yeah. Why is it that they're not Jews or they're not Christians or they're not even Hindus? Yes, yeah. there's some Hindus that do some bad things. Yeah. There might be a little bit of Christians or a tiny bit of Jews but why is it overwhelmingly Muslims who commit acts of terrorism? Answer that question, and then I'll let you go to the Bible. Silence. He doesn't want to answer. Are you still with us? He's gone. Brother, there you go. Hang up. There's the answer of Islam. That's the perfect answer. There's the answer of Islam. You want to go to the Bible? I'll go to the Bible any day with you. There's not one verse in the entire New Testament that says anything about spreading your faith by the sword. By the way, there's not one verse in the entire Bible, even in the Old Testament, that says you should spread your faith right. by the sword. There are verses that you can go to in the Old Testament that say you should go and you should take the promised land of Israel right. that God promised to the Jews, both in the Old Testament of the Bible and in the Quran, by the way, there are verses where God says, go and kill them. That's the people in the nation of Israel. That's a specific time, and that's a specific place. And therefore, that is in the Bible. But it doesn't say, go spread Judaism by the sword. It doesn't say, spread Christianity by the sword. But in Islam, we find all kinds of verses that say, spread Islam by the sword. How about Surah 9-5? But when the forbidden months are past, fight and slay the pagans wherever you find them. Fight and kill the pagans wherever you find them. Seize them, beleaguer them, lie in wait for them in every stratagem of war. You know, a Muslim friend of mine, an Egyptian, told me the other day, I said, you know, I'm a kafir, so I come under Surah 929, right? Or I'm Ahl al-Kitab. He said, no, you're not kafir. You're not really Ahl al-Kitab. You know what you are? You're mushrikeen. What's mushrikeen? Mushrikeen or mushrikun 
are those in Surah 9-5 that are translated as pagans. Why did I say, I said, why am I mushrikeen or mushrikun? Because you make Jesus out to be God, and that's the definition of shirk, the one unforgivable sin in Islam, is to associate anything with Allah. And I said, well, well okay. I said, then Surah 9-5 says you should kill me. Now, at that time, he's sitting beside me in the car. <laughs> Thank God he didn't have a gun. Uh, but anyways, it says, when the, kill the mushrikeen, wherever you find them. And so we see that Sunni, devout Muslims, even look at Christians as mushrikeen, and that comes under Surah 9-5, kill them wherever you find them. Let's take the next caller right now. Welcome, you're on the air with news and views. <clears throat> Hello, you're on the air. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, welcome to our program. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you well. Thank you for calling. Go right ahead. Okay. Well, um, um, I'm just talking to you to put something on record on your program so that oh. all the world can hear me. Go right ahead. Okay. Uh, you know that uh, in the Eastern regions or the Eastern Orthodox churches, today is the Christmas Day. Merry Christmas to all of our Eastern Orthodox brethren. Thank you. I'm a Coptic man, and I'm putting on record that in a town in the south of Egypt, following the service of Christmas Eve last night, a gun, a gunman carrying a machine gun shot 17 people. He killed seven youths between the ages of 14 and 18 instantly, and 10 were injured. Five of them are in critical care in another town, in, in another bigger hospital. I'm just putting this on record, and they tried to kill the bishop of the town. But God saved him. Oh, dear brother, thank you for calling. At the end of our program... Okay, I just want to, for the yeah. whole world to, read, to listen to this, so that they know the nature of their stupid religion, who kills people for nothing. Innocent people are following their service, getting out of their church, finding a man on a machine gun, shooting people. And the most important thing and the most important point is that the security persons, the security personnel and the police and every, any, or any official, they knew about it. And they did nothing. They didn't protect the Christians coming out of the church. I'm just putting this on record. Thank you, brother. They, unfortunately, the same thing is happening in Pakistan. The, the, the police are not going after the Muslims. And in Egypt, we see a terrible uh, genocide, really. And now in uh, Iraq, the same thing. I don't know what we're going to do, but we've got to pray. Thank you so much for sharing that. At the end of our program, I hope you'll keep watching and you'll join with us in faith as we pray for God's vengeance to take place and for him to comfort the families. And as they said early on in the church, I know it's a, it's a hard thing to receive, but the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. In Islam, they believe our blood somehow helps them in, in fostering their religion, but actually it's going to turn around on them. What the devil meant for evil, God will turn around ultimately for good, and that's what we're going to pray. Thanks so much, dear brother, for calling. All right, Brother Hamoudi, let's take the next call right now. Welcome to our program. You're on the air with news and views. Good evening, Brother Joseph, Brother Hamoudi. Happy New Year. Happy oh, New Year, dear brother. How are you? It's Richard from Toronto. You know me. Yes, Hello, Richard. Richard. Uh, uh, thanks for calling. You reminded me before the end of the show, I'm going to show a couple pictures from that Muslim march they did in Toronto on December 27th where they were giving the Hitler, Heil Hitler salute, and they were waving yes. the uh, Hezbollah flag. Yes, exactly, yes. And believe it or not, believe it or not, one of, one of these guys is my neighbor. Wow. And believe it or not, and he always wear this yellow handkerchief, uh, Hezbollah, in their car and everything, and he's so proud of it, with his mom, with his mom. Hey, technical guys, while uh, Brother Richard and I are talking, can you show those pictures of the march December 27th that Muslims did in Toronto? 